I did it. A couple days ago, I I tweeted out I was working with N8N to try and get working a post automation system where I could take one video and send it out to a bunch of platforms at the same time. And then I followed it up the next day with, I got this working, working with Google Sheets, but my dream is to get this working with Notion because my entire life is in Notion and I love Notion. I did it and it didn't take me as long as I thought it was going to and it's working. And so I just wanna make a video about this. So if you have no idea about any of this, you can maybe see the value of it. And if you're kind of aware of what this stuff is, maybe this will get give you a better idea of how to, to go about it. So this template that I started with is from uh, Sabrina Romanoff, and she is the one who created Blotato, which is the API service that takes your video and blasts it to all the socials. Uh, she has a video here where she kind of shows the overview of how she built her template, but I have already customized the N8N workflow uh, to fit my needs, so mine is a lot different. But uh, yeah, this is the this is the original workflow. So the way that it works is there's a Google Sheet that has four columns, title, description, link to the media, and status. And when this automation kicks off, it looks to that Google Sheet, finds the row that has ready to post, grabs that file from Google Drive, uploads it to Blotato, and then Blotato blotatoes it to all those short form platforms and gives the title, the description, and then uploads the video. And then it comes back to that Google Sheet and, uh, and changes that line to posted. But I needed to get this working in Notion. So I took this original flow and I morphed it into this thing. It looks way more complicated than it is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go through the steps uh, to kind of explain how, how the flow goes. So like I said, I do everything in Notion. Every single piece of content that I create has a page in a database called Macros Content Database. Every single piece of content has a title, a type, a status, an ID number, title, uh, sorry, description, short description, and a file name. So those are like the minimum base properties that every single piece of content has to has has to have in Notion. The type, long or short form. The status is just the status of the video. It's it scripting and production, waiting for brand, yada yada yada. ID numbers. Uh, this, this is a custom ID number that I just built for myself. Every single piece of content that I make has an ID number. N is for knackers, and H is for knack habitat, S is for short, L is for long, 25 is the year, and then the number at the end is the number of the numeric piece of content for that year. Uh, so this is the 135th short of 2025. And this number is what I use for the thumbnail folder, my local storage folder, my cloud storage folder, on the calendar, right? It's it's a unique identifier that I always know what that piece of content is. Um, makes it easy for searching. It's just something that makes my life easier. The title of the video, the short des the description, the short description. If you have platforms that have uh, character limits for descriptions, and then the file name. And I'll explain why the file name is important in a hot second. So whenever I create a piece of content, I write my script. I've got my summary, which ends up being the video description, and then I have SEO, keywords, key phrases, hashtags, and that is, I just keep it as simple as possible. I don't need nothing fancy. So when I have a piece of content that I am ready to publish, I export that video or move it into a specific Google Drive folder called NAC Upload, and I make sure that I've got my type, my title, description, short description, and file name all sorted, ready to go, making sure my file name matches the actual file name. And as soon as I change this status from ready to post to send it, that triggers node one of my automation, which says, hey, as soon as we detect that there is a change to a page in this database we're looking at, kick off the rest of this automation. So if the ID and the file name of the of the piece of content that I have in Notion matches the file name of the video that is in Google Drive that I moved into Google Drive, then it is going to pull all of the, the necessary information from Notion and kind of temporarily store it in an 8N. That's the title, the description, uh, the ID number, all that information. And that basically just means we're pulling all that information from Notion so that we can reference it in future notes. 
So if that file, uh, if all of that data matches, grab the file from Google Drive, upload it to AWS. And the reason I don't pull out of Google Drive is because Blotato is much less picky about files that are hosted in AWS uh, as opposed to uh, Google Drive. It's just easier to manage for me. And I'm familiar with AWS S3. Once that video is uploaded to AWS, I want to pull information, which is the uh, date that it was uploaded, date and timestamp, and then what is the link to that video once it's there and it's public, because that I need to reference that in a future node. Once that video is in AWS and is ready to go, N8N comes back to my database and it pastes, it auto pastes the link to that content here uh, in this property here. It changes the date posted to whatever the timestamp was. And it also moves that folder, or I'm sorry, moves that file out of that upload folder and into like a completed folder, just so that piece of media can't get uploaded again accidentally. And then finally sends that video over to Blotato. Blotato handles the uploading of that video to the social media platforms, and then it uploads to TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Threads, LinkedIn, and X all at the same time. And each one of these nodes pulls different information from the Notion database. So Instagram is going to get the full description. Instagram doesn't do titles, so that doesn't matter. But uh, YouTube wants a title for the short and a short description. And Threads wants the short description. So I just pull different data based on the platform that it's going to. Uh, so the, the last step of the automation, which is what I'm building right now, is if it successfully goes to that platform, then N8N comes back to the Notion database and puts a check mark for that platform. So I know that it got uploaded and it's good. And that is also helpful to me for repurposing. In the future, if I want to repost a piece of content, I want to know when the last time that content was posted and to what platform, so I'm not reposting too often. Um, and also like just error wise, like there's some other uh, dashboards within Blotato that tell you whether it, it failed or not. But again, single pane of glass, single dashboard that keeps everything under one roof, which is dope. Um, and yeah, that is pretty much it. So again, this is all super, super customizable. And I just wanted to kind of do a run through of how I have this set up and how it works. You can keep this way simple and just do it out of Google Drive, Google Drive if you want to. I'm, of course, complicating this because I'm using Notion. I'm using local storage. I'm using a cloud-hosted uh, N8N in a v VPS that's hosted with Hostinger. So there's just a lot of extra technical know-how that goes into getting something like this set up. But uh, yeah, this works. And I have one of these workflows built for Knackers. And then I have one of these workflows that is built for NAC Habitat. So I can drop a, uh, a video in a folder, come over to Notion, change this status to send it, and it'll upload it almost immediately. And it is, uh, it is crazy that this works. It saves so much time. Like if you think how long it would take to upload one piece of short form to seven different platforms manually, hour, hour and a half by the time you get through all of that, and this takes care of that in seconds. So much saved time. That's like five hours a week if I'm doing a short a day. Absolutely insane. So I'm still super, super new to this, but I am officially obsessed. And uh, hopefully this kind of like lights off some some bulbs in your head of, of what's possible. And, uh, and now I'm just kind of like I'm on a mission to just automate as much as possible um, to, to free up more time because, uh, yeah, this is this is freaking awesome. So I hope you learned something. Uh, I will continue diving into this and, and sharing more as I go because uh, I'm obsessed. All right. Take care.